Well, welcome back to Channel On. Today I'm going to be working on a Hoover upright vacuum. I was told that it was clogged. I've worked on these Hoovers uh, before, and there's usually more to it than just a clogged hose. And one of them is going to be these filters uh, that uh, people don't realize are there. And you can see just how dirty this one is. That needs to be cleaned. Uh, we're obviously going to clean the hose out. I'm sure that's what's clogged. And the other thing is these canisters themselves. When you open these up, there's going to be a filter on top here. And when you pull that out of there, you're going to find that that's going to be really dirty. And let's see, you can get replacements for these. Look at that. Okay, that's filthy. I'm just going to take some air and I'm going to blow that out. On top of that, if you take it apart even more, look what we have here. When's the last time that has been cleaned out? All right, and the, unfortunately, people who use these in the city or even in an apartment building don't have access to a, uh, an air compressor that's what you really need to kind of clean these out is an air compressor you can use a vacuum cleaner but there's nothing like a good old-fashioned air compressor so I'm going to take this over to um, an area where I can clean this out and I'm going to clean this this and this with air first before we get started. Now you've seen me use my little paint booth here when I'm, I'm making toy trucks but it also works good for cleaning stuff like this out because uh, it vents it right out to the outside. So all we're going to do is we're going to clean this filter up as best we can. Now generally I would do this outside but it's raining out so I'm doing it with this and it is a, it's not doing as good a job as it would if I was painting, but it's, it's doing okay. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm happy with that. Now this one can get kind of nasty. Um, there's, sometimes there's some string and stuff like that on it that you really can't blow off. You might have to find, you might find yourself pulling that off instead. So just kind of pull the worst of it. All right, let's see what we can do with this. All right, so we got that all cleaned up pretty good. Again, I'd be doing this outside, but where it's raining, I kind of use my little paint booth and that works fine. One of the things I think I might do if I ever do this again is maybe put some sort of little flap down so the dust doesn't kind of come back at me. So I'm going to kind of move this stuff out of the way. You can buy all these filters uh, online as well. I just kind of blow them out, make it a little bit easier. All right, so the number one problem they were having was it's clogged. So all you got to do is just take the hose off and one way or another, okay, this one is a little button you push. Push that, pull that off. And then this one right here, all it's got is a little, um, a little clip right here. Just need to turn that, it looks like, and that pulls right out of there. Go ahead and pull the hose out. All right, and let's just go ahead and inspect the hose and see what we got going on. Just going to kind of look down at first to see what's happening. Look down on this end. Well, I don't have to look very far. <laughs> okay, this is obviously uh, a clogged. There's a lot of shavings down there. Uh, it looks like wood shavings, so they may have used this uh, probably to uh, a carpentry job or something like that. So let's go ahead and empty that out and see what we can come up with. All right, look at that. All right, so this is going to be an easy fix. There we go. Now I can look right straight down through there. All right, so uh, it's it's hollow. That's all it was. That one little that one little batch of stuff right there. All right, so go ahead and get rid of that. So now all you got to do is just put it all back together. It's that simple. It's amazing how many people will just give up on stuff like this. Let's go ahead and just put it right back together. Now to put the filter all back together in the little tub here. So uh, we know that we have to put this on first. And then that just slides back down in there. And you usually have to find the little lock. It will only go in one way. There's a couple of tabs here, so it will only go on in one direction. And we can put the top back on. Let's see what we got here. It says right there, lock and unlock. We just need to line that up. Like that. Alright, we're all set with that. Go ahead and pop that in. And then this filter that's down below, just slide that in the right way. <laughs> and 
There we go. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see what it does. In fact, I'll vacuum this all up. There she is. Okay. You hear the difference in the sound? Okay. All right, so we have another clog. Uh, it, it shouldn't be making that noise. There's some restriction down in there, so there's probably more stuff in there. So we got to dig into this a little bit deeper. The worst of it's done, though. All right, let's kind of take a look and see what we got going on. So it's probably clogged down in here. So what we need to do is figure out how to get in there and get the clog out. I do have this unplugged, you know, make sure you always do that. So it looks like this hose right here, it looks like I can kind of pull that off. All right, what you might have to do is get a screwdriver just to pull that bottom hose off. There we go. And if you look in there, all right, you can see there's all kinds of shavings in there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take something, kind of push it in there and see if I can mess that around a little bit here. It looks like I'm going to, oh yeah, look at that. I'm going to turn it on and see if I can pull that out after I plug it in. There we go. I've seen it suck right up. <laughs> there we go. That on, slide that back on. Yeah. Sounds a lot better than it did before. Should be no restriction. All right, so you can see what we had. We had a clog in the hose. We had a clog down here. Uh, the filters were all uh, clogged up. It was a mess. So this is not going to be a thing wrong with this vacuum. And it's a shame that a lot of people will go ahead and just throw these away and they won't take the time to clean them. you got to take the time and clean them all out. If you have a compressor, it's going to work a whole lot better so you can blow the stuff around outside. Well, I hope that helps you with your Hoover vacuum uh, as far as cleaning it out. And uh, stay tuned for the next one.